Hi, I'm Corey. I'm a CPA and subject matter expert in financial accounting. In this video, we'll be spending some time getting an understanding of the external users of an organization. And then we'll move into the key types of business activities they would typically be most interested in. We'll start off by answering the question to who are the external users of a company's accounting information? Next, we'll develop a high level understanding of the various categories of those business activities. And finally, we'll connect the dots by getting an understanding of why this all even matters. I'd like you to consider the following question. Who are the users of an organization's accounting information? When asked this question, we generally think of the individuals that work directly within the business. Maybe you thought of the CEO, the CFO, or the management of an organization. While this is definitely accurate, have you ever considered that you yourself could be considered to be a user of a company's accounting information? The individuals that work within a company would be considered the internal users. However, if you've ever bought shares in a company, contributed to a retirement savings plan, or even been a customer of an organization, you could be considered to be an external user. Simply put, anyone outside of the organization who uses the company's financial information to make decisions is an external user. Before we narrow in on the categories of external users, let's take one step back and briefly answer the question to what is accounting? Accounting is basically an information system that keeps track of business activities, then processes this information into financial statements and ultimately communicates the results to the decision makers, also known as the users. The better these users are able to understand the financial information, the better the decisions they can make. We talked about some of the internal users in the company a minute ago, but let's narrow in on some of the key external users who rely on this information. First up on our list is investors and creditors. Outside investors and banks need to make very important decisions on whether to put their money into a company. In order to help them make the most informed decisions, they need an understanding of the company's financial position. Things like their profitability, valuation, debt commitments, and cash flow. Another very important external user is government regulatory agencies. Many businesses face government regulation and are required to report information about their operations and financials to these agencies. And don't forget, the government also uses the company's financial information to make sure they're paying enough taxes. Last up on our list is customers. Have you ever made the decision to buy a product or service based on what you know about a company's reputation or how much they charge for their products? I know if I was looking to buy a new cell phone from a company and heard in the news that their stock prices were dropping or they were facing bankruptcy issues, it would likely impact my decision. And now that we have a strong understanding of who some of the key external users are, let's take a high level look into the business activities that can help drive their decisions. In the world of accounting, there's three categories of business activities. Financing activities, investing activities, and operating activities. Anytime we have an accounting transaction where money changes hands, it gets grouped into one of these three categories. Financing activities are the means by which a company raises funds into the organization. Usually, this would be done by either equity financing or debt financing. Investing activities give external users information about how a company is using their profits and funds they've received from the investors. Last but certainly not least are the operating activities. This is the category where all the day-to-day -day business transactions occur. These three categories of business activities hold the key to companies' most important financial information and can be extremely helpful for the external users when it comes to decision-making. It's important to keep in mind that not all activities that take place in a company are actually reported to external users. Say, for example, a company has plans to expand into a new territory, or they've had conversations with potential customers about a new service. While these are important activities for the business, they wouldn't typically get reported to the external users until an actual transaction takes place. Let's look at an example of how the three categories of business activities can influence external users. Let's say a company decides to start a delivery service but they don't have the funds to buy a fleet of delivery trucks. This leaves them with a couple of options. Either they can borrow the money from the bank through debt financing, or they can sell equity to investors in exchange for cash. These are both considered to be financing activities, 
and would be reported on a company's balance sheet. Before providing financing, the external users, in this case, banks or investors, would likely want to see the company's financial statements to get an understanding of their financial health. Let's say they receive the financing. Now that the company has the funds, it's time for them to purchase their delivery vehicles. These transactions would fall under the investing activities of an organization and again would be reported in the company's financial statements for external users to get an understanding of how the organization is putting their funds into use. And that brings us to the operating activities. Now that the company has secured their delivery trucks, it's time to start delivering those packages. Each delivery generates revenue for the organization, but also adds additional expenses such as driver wages and fuel. These transactions show up on a company's income statement, providing external users with information about the organization's profitability. And that brings us to the end of this video. We now have more insight into the external users of a company and how an understanding of the organization's financing, investing, and operating activities can benefit them. External users come in many shapes and sizes, whether we're talking about the bank, investors, customers, or even yourselves, knowing how to interpret a company's accounting information can significantly elevate one's ability to make smarter decisions. If you're looking to learn more about these areas, including diving deeper into the nuts and bolts of the financial statements mentioned in this video, feel free to check out more videos on Check.